Have you ever spent your birthday by yourself? Just you. No friends, no family, no girlfriend, nobody else but you. For the first time in my entire life, I spent my birthday voluntarily by myself. Because let's be honest, there's been many times in the past, especially when I was like a kid and I didn't really have any friends that I spent my birthday by myself. But I would have loved to spend my birthday with other people back then especially when I was like a teenager and I cared so much about what other people thought about me. But now, as somebody in my 20s, I now know a lot better than I did when I was younger. So this year I decided to do a little bit of an experiment. I did not celebrate my birthday and I did not let anybody know about it. Whenever it's somebody's birthday, what do they do? They post a photo of them looking awesome. You got the balloons, you got like the cheeky caption, probably a couple of friends there. Maybe there's like a cake or something. It's a status symbol, right? Like, hey guys, it's my birthday. And I say this as somebody that's done this a couple times before. So this was my last birthday. Me and a bunch of guys and girls that I absolutely love. We had a great night together. We went out to this bar. Then we went to like this arcade where we played a bunch of games, had dinner, you know, the usual birthday stuff. And this is my birthday the year before that. I had a huge rager of a house party. I had like 30, 40, maybe more people show up. I was on some alleged lease. If you look at my pupils, you can tell pretty clearly that I was not sober. <laughs> I was definitely rolling. I had a huge cake that literally had a picture of me on it, printed. My friends literally printed a photo of me and put it on the cake. It was like one of those custom made cakes they planned the whole thing meticulously. They invited people on my behalf. It was like one of the best birthdays ever. And I'm bringing that up not to tell you guys about how great I am and how cool I am. And oh, we get it then, Mo. You had the best birthday ever. I did have a string of the best birthdays ever. But this year, I decided not to throw a birthday party at all. In fact, I didn't tell anybody it was my birthday. I didn't tell my family. I didn't tell my close friends. I didn't post on my Instagram or my Facebook, nothing. Because I wanted to see who actually remembered my birthday without me reminding them. Think about it, bro. Who actually gives a fuck about you or your birthday? Probably not that many people. I mean, your family, obviously your parents, they know what day it is. I hope they do. So, you know, I only have one parent left, but my one parent did remember it was my birthday and sent me a text message. But you would be surprised to find out, bro, if you tried this yourself, that upwards of like 90 to 95% of your friends, close friends or whatever, won't actually hit you up on your birthday. The only way they will is if you give them advanced notice or you post about it on your social media. And that's okay. That's normal because most people have such a little attention span due to all the information that's constantly being thrown at us throughout a day-to-day -day basis. So it's very easy to actually forget when somebody's birthday is. When I was a kid, I used to love birthdays because I was able to invite all my friends from school and we'd go out and hang out in my backyard. My parents would set up like a little picnic table with cups and there'd be pizza and pop. And we would just play games in the backyard all day. And then their parents would come a couple hours later and pick them up. We'd have the little goodie bags for them, you know, like those goodie bags with like chocolates and candies. And it felt amazing, right? Everybody at school treats you better. The teacher makes a big deal out of it. You go out to the restaurant with your parents, you know, somebody whispers to the server, hey, it's, it's my son's birthday. And then they all come and they do the clap and the candle and it's a whole magical experience. But I wanted to know how it felt to not do anything for my birthday. Because in a weird way, this big celebration, this big excuse to have all these people around me and have this whole fun event. Did I actually deserve it? Have I been doing all the things I should be doing lately? Have I been working my ass off? Am I making progress on my goals, whether it's at the gym or with my business or 
at my job. Do I even like my job? I'm just imagining myself a couple of years ago, bro, when I was fucking depressed and I was miserable and I knew that the only thing that really kept me going was going out on weekends with my friends. We would sit in a fucking garage and we'd drink beers, smoke some balls, maybe go out to a bar, club, or a pool hall or something. And life just wasn't good. But that's because I didn't like my job. I didn't like the friends I was hanging out with necessarily. I didn't have a girlfriend. I didn't have any bitches, bro. I was hurting. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this fucking birthday comes and everybody's treating you great. You're getting treated the same way that you would if you were successful, if you were providing value to people. That's why when people see celebrities, they freak out. They're just overwhelmingly positive to them because they've seen that person and they like that person. So I've experienced this a lot as well. Check out this clip of me crowd surfing. I mean, dude, look at this. So I know what it's like to have a lot of people love me. But the reason I'm sharing this is because I think that as much as we don't want to admit it, a lot of us are a lot more unhappy than we want to be. And we're not working as hard as we should be. And a birthday is a great example of how your life could potentially be if you took control of your life and became the fucking man. And when I say the man, I mean like you're in good physical shape, you have a job that you really care about. So each day, whether it's a job or your own business, you are doing what you really enjoy. And the true meaning of purpose is to find something that you're good at, that you enjoy, and that other people will pay money for. Which is why naturally you're inclined to do something that you really like to do. And if you can turn that into a way to make money, then life is amazing. And this is why most people want to become artists, musicians, athletes. I see a lot of people online nowadays, they just want a way to make like a couple thousand a month working on their computer and then they're all set, they're all good. It's funny because ironically, it's the equivalent of people getting jobs in the first place back in the day, nine to five. Why do people get a nine to five? Well, I just want something chill. I have predictable hours and I get a paycheck every week. And then I get enough of those each year that I make this much money, which means I'm doing good compared to my friends at the same level or a little better. And then I can go on vacation for a couple weeks of the year, just like my friends do, because they are also working nine to fives. And this is what our entire parents' generations did. My dad, he didn't necessarily do what he wanted to. He just started working at a factory. He was a construction worker. And then he started selling computers. And then he was a limo driver. He just did whatever opportunity was thrown in front of him. And he told me that one of his biggest regrets in life was that he didn't get to do a career he actually cared about. Something he was passionate about. He's always been very athletic, loved playing sports when he was a kid. And he wishes that he could go back and do something related to like health and wellness and fitness. And he's obviously a very happy man, you know, he's in his 60s now. But most people never truly experience what it's like to love what they do and provide a lot of value to others. Because the more value you provide to others, the more value they give you, the more love they give you, the more intimacy. And as an example, to explain how good it feels, just think about how you're treated on your birthday. Now imagine if every day was your birthday. Every day, the people that you loved wanted to spend time with you. You worked with people that you love because you guys all have the same goals. You work at the same place. You're going in the same direction. So it's not so much like them just complimenting you and being nice to you. You actually want them to do the opposite, like break your balls and stuff. But more importantly, the love that you get on a daily basis is not that much further away than celebrating a birthday. Life is very short and each time you have a birthday, you realize, wow, I have so many people in my corner. Or on the other end, you don't have anybody in your corner. You're alone. You spend your birthday by yourself because you don't have any friends to spend it with. And you're embarrassed and you're insecure about it. And it fucking burns your soul inside. Has that ever happened to you? 
It's happened to me before, man, and it fucking sucks. So what I did, and this wasn't necessarily motivated by like, oh, I want my birthday to be the best. But it was just, I want to be loved. I want to be validated. I want to be around other people. I want to be successful. Because the more successful you become, the more options you have, the more you are able to choose what you do with your time. And if you want to make friends, or if you want to meet girls, or if you want to travel, you will be able to do all those things with your time because you have an abundance of time. And the problem is most people, they work nine to five, then they go home and they don't do anything. And then on the weekends, they get those little bite-sized human intimacy moments where they spend time with their friends and family, but they're not actually making any progress towards a life where they get to do what they like all the time and they get to be intimate with others all the time. So that's what I wanted. I wanted out of the shithole life that I was in. So I worked really hard. And then I was able to have a whole new social circle, a whole new friend group. And then I would throw these big ass fucking birthday parties. Because the truth is I was overcompensating. I was overcompensating for all the lame, lonely, depressing birthdays I had in the past. So that is exactly what people do when they make such a big deal out of their birthday and they post it everywhere online. And there's nothing wrong with that. But that's where it comes from. That's where it came from for me anyways. So the experiment here isn't necessarily just to suffer on purpose, but it's more so I've been in this, this monk mode where I'm grinding really hard towards specific goals that I need to get accomplished. And this requires me checking out from society. Like I'm not hanging out with friends anymore. I'm not on my phone. My own Discord server, I haven't been active in there. Sorry, bro. Sorry I haven't been in there as much. I've been working on some new projects, but it's just required me to completely isolate myself from everybody. And because of that, I decided I can't stop now. I'm not going to kill the momentum. I'm not going to do anything crazy for my birthday. I'm just going to be by myself. And then... Hopefully next year and the year after that and the years to follow, if I want to, I'll have a big ass fucking birthday. But what I really wanted to see though was what it would feel like to not do anything. And I did. And it felt a little bit weird, but I learned a lot about my friends. I learned a lot about who actually was there for me because bro, if they remember your birthday without a social media post or whatever, that's a keeper. That's somebody that actually fucks with you. How many of your friends are your friends on social media, but would actually call you on your birthday if you didn't post anything? So that's a little experiment for you. If your birthday's coming up, don't tell anybody. See who texts you. See who calls you. And if you really do want to let people know it's your birthday, just wait a day or two. If your birthday is on the 20th, don't post about it till the 22nd. Post it on your story and whatever on the 22nd and see all of those messages and texts and calls come in all of a sudden. You'd be amazed at how little people actually know your birthday. Anyways, I hope that you learned a couple of lessons from this. I know it's a very random video. I mean, maybe I'm just an asshole. <laughs> But I want all of you that are alone and don't have anybody to spend your birthday with to not be so hard on yourself. Because the truth is, even the people you see on social media that are going out, celebrating their birthday, it looks like the best time ever. The truth is, they definitely had a couple birthdays where they were fucking alone and they were depressed and they were by themselves and it burned their soul. So now because of that, they want to have the best birthday ever, right? And I would even argue that some people, they want to like compete over how good their birthday is, right? Which club did they go to? Which restaurant did they go to? Some people turn their birthday into a fucking movie, bro. It's like a four day social media presentation about how amazing they are and how many friends they have, right? But just remember, a lot of that shit is fake. It's not real. And deep down inside, they're probably not that happy in their normal day-to-day -day life anyways. So once a year, once a fucking year, they're able to be happy. 
And there is a little bit of power in that, right? If you're a totally fucking depressed guy or girl, and once a year, everybody gives you that little push. Hey, we remember you. We love you. Here's some attention. That could change somebody's entire life or mood, at least for a couple days. You get like an extra pep in your step. You feel good. But the truth is, why aren't you experiencing that on a regular basis anyways? Why wait till your birthday to ball out? Why wait till your birthday to spend time with your friends? You don't need an excuse to hit them up. You don't need an excuse to invite them over. You should just hit them up right fucking now after this video is done. So think about all the people that you want to spend more time with and give them a fucking call, bro. Don't wait until it's your birthday. Birthdays are bullshit anyways. Thank you for the birthday wishes. <laughs> I'll see you later, bro.